So we had a time together after you finishing your level one of eight session, you graduated to level two. And in the level two, you were trained in your ability to be impromptu, to be spontaneous and to be natural. So there was not much of preparation for these sessions, but your spontaneity is what was tested over here, which is very, very essential for a leader. So now having gone through this, four sessions of about two to two and a half hours. That means about eight to 10 hours you're undergone a training. Now you're experienced something. It is for you time for you to give expression to experience. So I want each one of you all to share what has been your experience. What is that you picked up from this program being as specific as possible. Now having picked up these traits, in what way are you going to see its impact in your workplace or in your life? Okay, so on this note, I like to call upon a person who's been very committed in the sessions, be it the milk leadership course he attended some eight years back or the level one. And having come to the convention, he also did level one because he wanted to develop himself further. And when level two came, he was very spontaneous to pick that up as well. So now to give us expression, ladies and gentlemen, can I call upon this Miltonian from Rihad who is sitting right now in Saudi Arabia. Let's call upon Miltonian Magesh Kumar. Yes. Um, thank you, Danny. For me joining in uh, PPW level two, it's more of uh, my experiences about uh, cracking the shell. I put it this way. Because here, after having an experience in the PPW level one, more of uh, a yeah, theoretical related foreign leadership, but here it given an opportunity for me to understand more on to experience on a practical about like when we look on on the HR principles, how really we are practicing or fantasizing, bringing a kind of a, the right brand and left brand, how it works and uh, works. Plus also about how to retain our memory and uh, which is the picking really, which is uh, helped a lot. And of course, on the dramatizing, how really we can uh, crack our shell and uh, be become like you know, free. So these are all the key takeaway for me in the PPW level two. I really enjoyed the session. Certainly, it is going to be very, very uh, informative for me in terms of uh, uh, for my personal development where I can be more free with the other team members and as well as to my environment. And certainly, I'm going to use this one because this is something it's helping to open. I'm going to use this one for to transform myself to the society in terms of helping others because I'm already like becoming more and more flexible uh, in my attitude. Thank you so much. Thanks for the wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Thanks to all. Right. Wonderful, Mahesh. I'm glad you took up the session uh, very intensively in spite of you having to work on a Sunday in uh, Saudi Arabia, but you found time to do this. That shows your desire to grow and to maximize your potential, which you alone can tap and maximize. So congratulations and wishing you the best in, in your life going forward. And now let's listen to yet another person who has done level one. And after doing that well, wanted to do level two, and he's been so very participative, very busy. One day he's in Hyderabad, another day he's in Dubai. He keeps shunting, I think, twice to go from Chennai to Bangalore, which is only 300 kilometers. But this man comes to Mumbai, uh, to from Hyderabad to Dubai and Dubai to Hyderabad. Very busy. He runs a company in Hyderabad, uh, uh, accounting company, and in Dubai as well. So let's listen to this handsome young man, Miltonian Balaram. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Danny. <clears throat> I think it is a great learning experience for me. For me, the most important thing was uh, the, how to fantasize as well as how to participate in impromptu skills. I was always thinking about myself like, is it possible for me to do it? Can I do it? So those kind of questions were there in my mind, but now I realize that I can do it. I have that potential to do it if I practice well and follow those principles that I put in the session. I think these two are very, very useful for me. And soon after that particular session, I decided that I want to give this particular experience even to my team members also. So that's how we decided to, uh, I decided to speak to Velusar and to you. If you can uh, give this similar session to my team members also so that they can benefit out of it. This is not useful only in the office. It's also useful in your personal life, wherever you go, whenever it is required. So that's what I felt. And about the you know, 
breaking the shell it is another important thing which i have been uh, shy to do uh, i think now at least now i could attempt and then i know that i can do how to you know I, at least i know how to do it okay. and unfortunately i came to some other place but otherwise i would have been more focused in session also but in overall i think it is very very useful and uh, for a leader particularly it is very necessary that uh, to have these kind of skills and to break the break the shell and uh, i'm fortunate to have this session being attended and i'm looking forward for the you know, more sessions for my team members also thank you right well done great right as you rightly said fantasizing is again a flexibility of the mind okay when we are rigid we are more left brain oriented we can't think out of the box we always been hearing this concept of thinking out of the box and fantasizing is that ability which might be nonsensical right now people might not accept it but if you are convinced about what you are doing have the clarity of your fantasy it's going to be a reality so therefore let's not stop fantasizing let's be in fantasy because creative things can come only when we can fantasize and my next call goes to a person who was very participative and a top performer in the level 1 and when this level 2 came grabbed the opportunity to be there as well and has been a very good participant i always appreciate sincere participant and not smart participant so here i got in that line a very sincere participant whatever she takes she gives in her best and i'm so glad this attitude is going to help her not only in programs like this but also in her life so ladies and gentlemen let me let's welcome miltonian nisha sanjeev nisha good afternoon everyone once again uh this program has taught me well, i i'll take take away three points from these uh, two levels that i have done number one is letting go no i had i thought and i practiced letting go as letting go of my beliefs and letting go of my conditioning but this program and especially today has taught me letting go is nothing but giving physicality to your stuck emotions i understood you know uh, i didn't do my best today but then i did get a peep into what letting go of rigidity and that stuck emotions is so that is one of the major learnings that i'm taking away from this program the second thing that i am taking away is i was always a self reflective person but that some way didn't translate into my uh, works it was always my writings always began with you you so now i have seen the change in myself for the last at least two weeks it's beginning with we anything that i want to explain begins with we and not you and last but not the least you said this danny i don't know if you remember this but this line will be always always my golden nugget and i have already written it in my diary express uh, communicate to express don't communicate to impress so i shall take this this is my bible verse from today onwards this is my greatest learning because i think somewhere down the line because i am a writer by passion and profession i was getting it wrong i guess i was expressing and uh, sorry communicating and writing to impress more than express so that switch has happened because of this training thank you so much dani and thank you to all the participants of level 1 and level 2 you've been great all the best to all of you right this mm-hmm. right okay so uh, you got a peek into it that's what is important okay i think well, that's what you are trying to do in this program is to help people to experience it because earlier we were in ignorance or probably you are in awareness you are aware but you didn't have the guts to get out so here this program got you the awareness so that the ignorance was dispelled and very importantly pushed you to do it that's what melt is in fact you see people register for a program and not come in the reason is they're comfortable sitting back and they find something out of the comfort zone they don't want to continue they drop out but if you can stay on and do it and that is where you tend to grow because i wouldn't have been a trainer if i was comfortable the push that i got from operation the kicks that i got from operation only made me to become a better person i could have gone back and been what i i was and thinking that i can make it big we can never make it big so therefore the push is needed that's why there's a saying even birds need a push birds can fly but even they need a push 
So we have the ability and we need a push. So this program is precisely that, as you rightly put it across Nisha, and I know with the commitment that you have, with the sincerity that you have and the dedication that you possess, you are certainly on the path of excellence and you'll be re reaching excellence, okay? With the ability to express, that's what we all tend to do. Expresses, I got it deep within and I wanted to share. And this expression, if it is considered as impress, impressing others, you can't help it. But what is your motive is very important. I'm talking to express rather than impress and that is what is important. I'm going to do a webinar at um, 3 p.m. today, Indian Standard Time. Now, what am I going to stand there and do? I'm going to express myself. Some people see that and they like it. But some people might say Danny is trying to impress. But it doesn't matter. What is my intention really matters big time. To me. Good, Nish. All the best to you. Look forward to a long association uh, with you in MILT and so that you can really get the benefit of MILT. And MILT also benefits because of your presence. Okay, and now we have another participant who is a very committed person. I distinctly remember after must be uh, nearly 18 years, I got a message saying, my name is this, and I could immediately place it who it is. My memory flashed back to Bangalore in the year 2002 or 2003, one in Taj Gateway, where we had the session, and this person was there full of life. And when he said, Danny, I'm here, and I, I want to get into the program, and immediately I told him, join him. I didn't even ask him for the fee because I know you'll pay it. Because I trusted him so much. And he's a man worth trust because he's a man who's sincere. He got into the program and today he's doing the program well. And when the level two came, he was prompt enough to take it as well because he felt that MILT leadership course that he did in 2003 has really empowered him. But he got a bit rusted and PPW1 really put him on the track and two is put him, given him the momentum as well. So therefore, let's listen to this person, all the way from Kerala. Miltonian Ariharan Unni. Hi, friends. So thank you, Danny, for giving an opportunity to do uh, PPW, level one and level two. So the most important to take away from this is the barrier of uh, language, so-called languages, you can translate only your ideas. Through words, you can communicate only ideas. But how do you communicate your feelings? That is expression. So that it is not only the words. So communicating a feeling through words, you cannot. So that there are different uh, techniques. That is the most important uh, takeaway. Second thing is that I was conditioned. You are not supposed to do that. You are not supposed to behave like that. Even if you are happy, you cannot laugh. When you are uh, uh, sad, you cannot uh, cry. So all these conditioning to break through that shell, these are all the most important uh, uh, takeaway for me from this uh, level two. And the first one will definitely help me in uh, communicating when I'm, uh, you know, in the part of my uh, trainings, uh, as part of my uh, uh, what do you call the consulting. So. How uh, I can express myself rather than communicating, rather than uh, uh, showing some um, PowerPoint presentations and giving some words. Uh, now I'm able to, I can clearly express myself. So thank you. Thank you very much for giving this great opportunity. Fantastic. You. Right. Only. Sure, you will uh, do well because you have it in you to keep developing yourself. And with this attitude, you certainly will do great in your consulting because. Uh, we want to contribute. Anytime when you are meeting people, it's just not that what is that I'm going to get in a relationship. Our immediate internal processing should be in what way can I make this person better? In what way can I contribute in this person's life? Once that is there, the, our fullness will come and then you're going to be best and everyone will be the best if we have that intention. All the best to you, Uni, and keep up. And now that you've got back into milk, I think you'll be put in Bangalore chapter, take part in it and uh, see how you can value add being with the right group of people and maximizing yourself. And Kerala might also need milk. So you can really work on to establish the chapters, which I've been doing and Velu has been uh, so much uh, telling me that I shouldn't rest because he sees a resource like Daniel should not rest. 
and he had pushed me on. He gave me an idea saying Hyderabad should be the next journey running. And then it so happened my daughter relocated there and I went there. And now Hyderabad a chapter formation is in process. We are looking at Delhi, we are looking at Coimbatore. And now with you, Hari Arun Unni in Kerala, I think you should be able to do that. So let's take it because this is the best time. Can imagine sitting somewhere else. We are attending a session as much as it's a live session, isn't it? So therefore, now this is a great opportunity to take MILT across. Now, why do we take MILT across? Because MILT intensive training is needed for people. Rather than MILT needing people, people need MILT. So let's have that and reach out to people. And I've decided to conduct this uh, blueprint for personal development every month. The reason is that we want to reach out this learning and this insights of MILT. Okay, all the best to you, Unni. And now let's listen to yet another person who comes from a very humble background and having come from a background of such, he never gave himself up. He said, I want to excel and ensure my family also excels I'm from Tamil Nadu and from a village school today working in a metro project. And today he's helping Chennai people to communicate effectively and faster in his metro services that he is involved in. So let's welcome this peak performer, Milt peak performer, Miltonian Saravanan Jairaman. Yeah, very good morning to all. Uh, very, uh, very thank you very much to Mr. Dani. Uh, actually, uh, I'm trying to speak in front of everyone. Uh, with this PPW level one, it's teach me a lot. Uh, my English is little visible to this uh, uh, to public speaking as a leader. Okay, so uh, thank you very much. Uh, to uh, to bring my this uh, fear to uh, without fear. So now I am able to speak in front of anyone. So with this PP uh, PPW two level two program, uh, this impromptu speaking. Uh, this also one of the uh, learning stage for me. This wherever I'm to lead the team. So it, it depends on the situation. So we have to speak to these people and uh, we have to concentrate on visualize what, what we are going on. So we have to uh, do that as a practice. We have to make it uh, as a team. And also this pegging. This pegging program is one of the important program. Now, actually, this is important to memorize that, uh, that things what we want to uh, visualize it, actually. This is one of the most powerful tool. Uh, this we have to use it in my uh, workplace wherever I'm going now. So hereafter, definitely, I will do that uh, my best for this. Uh, so... Thank you, Mr. Adi, for this uh, wonderful program. Definitely, this is my learning curve. I started already to learn. Definitely, I'll do my best. And uh, whatever uh, possible, I'll give to the same to the society as well. Thank you. Fantastic. Great, Saravan. Even this talk that you gave is impromptu, isn't it? So nowhere where anybody told that you need to give a talk because we're testing you on the impromptu. Otherwise, I could have told you in the last session, you've got to give a speech of activism. Get prepared. But that defeats the very purpose of level two. So you spoke impromptu and you spoke well from where you were to where you are right now, from where you are to where you want to be is something which has to be expedited much faster. You are in Chennai. So Chennai has got milk alumni. Come take part. Okay. Initially, you might have some resistance uh, to not to go, but break all the resistance and come get into the stage, whether people call or not, get onto the stage. That's what I did. And then you will see yourself really maximizing yourself truly and greatly because these are just input centers that you've got in these level one and level two. But having this input seat where you can put into practice in your workplace and MILT alumni can be a great platform for you to develop your skills further. All the best to you, Sadam and Jay Raman. And now let's listen to a very committed young man who comes from the wheat city of India. Okay. If there is wheat, if there is roti, you need to think of this city because all are very, very strong people. In South, you are more of rice, but here in this place, it's more about uh, the wheat part of it. And he's certainly as strong as wheat. And right from the level one, uh, his commitment was absolutely amazing. And level two, when it was started, he immediately said, Danny, I'm joining. I didn't even have to call him to tell it. He immediately paid up and he joined. That is his intention and his interest. I'm sure with such an intensity, he's going to do very well in life. Now let's listen to Milt Peak performer, Miltonian Jatender Singh. After level two, I have realized the true comprehensive nature of Milt training. So I'm a, I'm a book reader. I read lots of books based on 
uh, whatever interests I have, whether it's a book on leadership, behavioral science, spirituality, or the human brain. brain. So, so I had read about the two sides of uh, brain, left brain and the right brain. So, and I knew that the innovation and creativity, the spontaneity, all that comes from the right side of the brain. This level two uh, actually I provided, and I always wanted some tools, some way to develop their side of the brain. The level two had provided me those tools and the platform to exercise their creativity, their spontaneity. So I, I have seen the trailer. Uh, I, I enjoyed each session, for whether it's uh, impromptu, whether it's baking the shell, pegging. I enjoyed each session and I truly, uh, I'm sure with, with more practice, I will get more value out, out of it. So uh, to, uh, to uh, summarize, I would say, you know, based on these two trainings from Melta, who realized uh, the thing that I love and deeply reverberate with me are three three focuses that uh, uh, Milt has. One is the focus on communication and HR principles. The service orientation, I think that that, that makes it unique. And on top of that, the spirit, spiritual focus. I have not known any any organization which is so uh, oriented to social service and yet has clear clarity about the spiritual side of uh, uh, life. So that's what I love about the MILT and uh, that's what I loved about level two. I hope to continue my journey with more, more practice and uh, to develop more and more based on whatever I learned through these two sessions. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Great, Jatendra, great. Right, see some people see MILT as um, a platform for growth, okay? Or um, see MILT as a course or MILT as a movement. What are you seeing and what are you identifying is very, very important. If you see MILT as a course, your course ends today in about a half an hour's time. But if you consider MILT as a platform for growth, attend the alumni meets. I'm so glad that you attended the meet yesterday. You are traveling, but yet you found a place to park yourself and attend it. That shows your sincerity. So therefore attend MILT alumni meets and Emmy Middle East is really doing very well in ensuring that all people on the screen, on the Zoom platform are participants. We don't want spectators. Having done a course and if you are a spectator, that's the tragedy. I can understand a guest coming and sitting over there, it's fine. But having done a program, if people are spectators, it's not doing justice at all. So therefore, Velu was very clear. We are not looking at a lot of people coming in and being spectators. Whoever comes in should also take part. So therefore, people might... Uh, uh, feel uncomfortable, but uncomfortability is a way to grow. If you're comfortable, you'll never grow. So therefore, Jitendar, uh, you consider MILT as a growth platform, attend the alumni regularly. One year, I always tell people, attend it one year. And then if you consider MILT as a movement, a revolution, as we call it, be part of the social projects of MILT. Okay. And then you can always play a role uh, in the social projects of MILT so that you can see the versatility of it from a course to a platform to a movement. So your MILT has given everything for us. So we thank our mentor, Aparish Acharya, for his foresight. Now, what did he have at that point in time? No technology, nothing. But he had the vision. Today, we're making that vision a reality. Okay, Jatendra, look forward to seeing you in more and more of these sessions and doing well. And now let's listen to a very dynamic person. I saw this person probably the first time, or I don't remember the earlier, I saw in the convention in Mumbai, and right from the time I want this person to do the program. And it was a big task for me to convince this person. And I felt if I can convince this person, I'm a good salesman. Because immediately, no, 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 no. I can't do, I can't do. It's really tough, tough, tough. No, 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 I heard about it. You shouted people. No, I said, don't worry, do it. And then somehow got or into level one, and then level two, no, 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 impromptu, no, I can't. Prepare itself, I can't, impromptu, I can't. I said, do it. And then, very importantly, she takes time to take decision, but she takes the decision right. So let's welcome this wonderful lady, whose husband also did level one and level two, and with two wonderful daughters. Let's listen to Mil Peak Performer, Miltonian Nandini Mahesh Kumar. Thank you, Danny, uh, for the wonderful introduction. Yeah, that is me. Uh, actually, the 
the decision why i am taking uh, i took uh, delay is because of 15 to 17 years gap after my college after my mcom this is the first course i'm joining i'm doing for myself these days i was uh, always uh, with the kids only so so much hesitation to join the course but my husband and with your course only i joined but i really admired uh, by seeing the convention i really i enjoyed all the three days that was one of the uh, thought that i should join as a animal then with my husband pressure and your course i joined then i really enjoyed the course uh, level 1 and i i really I, it's look like that i became a, a small uh, my uh, daughter's age i also used to write work and so much things really yeah, it was so interesting and level 2 again i thought i'll take a break because uh, it's uh, unprepared prepared itself I, I was in a so hesitation i thought i'll take again take a break but you never <laughs> let me <laughs> stop so you again forced me so i thought okay i will do it but i am very happy that in fantasizing i got uh, uh, award that i really uh, even my daughters said that yeah yeah you should participate in convention also in fantasizing so they all increased me in every point of time so and fantasizing from to and this dramatizing and hr talk and hr talk really i am practicing daily in my life uh, and then based upon this uh, milt uh, course i'll step into other uh, step in my life and this is a very wonderful platform i took a good decision thank you all and thank you for all the participants thank you nisha jetendra saravanan and uh, unni sir and mamta very nice uh, journey with all with you all thank you right right uh, nandini very important uh, now that you experience level 1 and level 2 now you need to keep it going because what happened they say the whole habits die hard isn't it so it pushes us it restrains us so you need to break that by challenging yourself so therefore and then you'll come into a situation where you're on a you're on a flow so till such time you need a push okay now you are in this mid middle east as well so yeah that's a very uh, good chapter to be in where you are practicing where you are performing and you're also part of chennai as well so therefore never miss this opportunity to get onto the stage okay practice and get in this is the best time because you got a husband support you got a children support and then i want to see you come to the convention in 2023 in kolkata and i want you to be the winner okay and i know you can do it all the best to you nandini and now let's listen to uh this uh, lady who has really taken up a project in milt and has been doing very well and today i got a message saying Uh, the office batters are come from chenna from uh, milt and i can't attend the session i said uh, attend they'll be happy that you're attending the session then they'll know that milt is something where the priority is to the training and not to anything else and if at all manbir and durai comes to know that you're attending the program they will love it so i told her that and she is over here and she took part in the session and i could see the growth in her i could see the decision and determination within her to grow and that's very important now let's listen to this wonderful lady milk peak performer miltonian mamta gupta hello everyone thank you danik to giving me this opportunity wonderful opportunity uh, in level 2 i learned lot of things lots of things and this all things in mind level i really realized that with this ability like imagination and ability to things and concentration really need to a, as a leader and i learned ki uh, how develop our imagination's power and our thinking power ability, thinking of ability so i love this session so, and now i also in going to be practical if i see anything in my home i imagine like i am a things and and i started to talking so i really enjoying and learn ki how to explain express ourselves like uh, voice modulation with emotions so i really learn lots of things this uh, sessions thank you okay right mamta i think there could be no better place than milt for you to continue your learning and you are part of milt and the milt project so that you get a lot of opportunity to express yourself to students to so develop yourself and then in the kolkata chapter and see that you 
uh, do well and benefit. Okay. These are my companions behind. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I muted to stop it going out. I think it should be off. Okay. So, Mamta, all the best to you. Take part big time and really contribute in the children and really make a big difference. Okay. Great. And now, the last but not the least, all goes to a person who did MILT. Probably is in touch with me for a few years and he wanted to do MILT. And then when MILT was happening, the level one, I pinged him and told him it's happening. And then he was also having some hesitation. I said, just do it. Because somewhere down the line, uh, I will have to follow Velu's strategy. Velu explains. And after that, if they don't say, pay money, get in, over. <laughs> Somebody asked, I want to find out how Velu is getting people. One lady, Usha, Rajagopal, and she called me, she says, I told individually he's got 70 people from, hey, I want to know what is the technique he does. His technique is very simple. He tells about the course, and then he says, thousand dirhams, and then he says, I've got some work. No, no, do the course, pay the money, utter the course, over. I, utter the course, over. <laughs> the person comes in, and after that, Thanks, Velu. Okay. So therefore, Velu does that hard push, what operations done, because we needed something like that. Otherwise, many things wouldn't have moved. We only will be great talkers. But here, I did it. And this person also uh, happily took up the level one. And when I told him level two, he did level two. And he told me that he had challenges in attending the last batch, the two sessions. And he also asked me permission, if I'm not able to complete it, will you give me an opportunity over here? And I told him yes. So therefore, when this came up, I immediately pinged him and he immediately joined and he took the program very intensively. A very committed person as well. Let's listen to a Milt Peak performer, Miltonian Mahesh Cha. Thank you so much, uh, Danny. It's a really pleasure and privilege for me to be a part of this wonderful Milt family. Uh, that reminds me of time of 2018 when I was planning to learn the science and art of communication. I was in a quest for uh, some trainer, uh, some institution who will guide me the right directions, the right way to learn the science and art of communication. Fortunately, I come to know about MILT and uh, we chat. I chat with uh, Mr. Daniel at that point of time and he was supposed to take class in Kolkata. But thanks to COVID, it's had not done. done. But finally, I got an opportunity to enroll in PPW Batch 17. My uh, dear friends, it was unbelievable to believe it that in a milk and Danny made the communication so simple, so easy, so listed manner that anybody can learn it, can uh, digest it, and come it's implement it in real life. I remember the term of uh, Mr. Daniel that he said. Milt is not about knowing program, it is doing program. So really it is doing program and implementing program in life. I learned the four important things in part one that is talk to inform, talk to get action, talk to convince, talk to entertain that part. And the part two was just the upgradation of the part level two, which has uh, taught me how to start a spontaneous communication, how to be the master uh, ceremony, Pegging is one of the things that will keep me remind always how to learn, how to upgrade myself for the pegging and dramatizing today made the sessions more comfortable and complete. Uh, my sincere gratitude to Danny for such a wonderful systematic and scientific way of teaching. I'm sure this can help each one of us to develop oneself and contribute with this knowledge into the society to uh, to be in all aspects of life, that is the personal development, intellectual uh, intent, social development, and the live the life of spirituality throughout the life. Thank you so much, my dear friends. Thank you so much, Danny. Right. Uh, thank you, Mahesh. Uh, you rightly brought that in mind because I remember long back, few years back, he said, uh, when are you doing the program in Kolkata? I want to do it. So therefore, I just made a note and I, I pinged him. And then even then it was coming, he said, if you come to Kolkata, I'd like to do the program. I told him do online. It's as effective as a face-to-face -face session. When face-to-face -face happens, you can do that over there at that point in time. So good, uh, uh, Mahesh Jha, you really have uh, been a great asset. And in the short time when I told him about Milt and to market Milt on the social media, he immediately formed a team and did his best to promote Milt. 
So therefore, this is his uh, uh, passion as well. So therefore, I'm sure Mahesh will be continuing in Milt Kolkata chapter. And there's an alumni happening on 20th Mahesh in Kolkata, Salt Lake. Kindly go there. Kindly get a feel of them. And uh, they've got a, a thing, holy celebration kind of a thing. Don't miss these opportunities. In fact, when you enter into Milt, you pay course, you pay fee, you know that. After that, everything is free. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody said, ask little and then charge more. But in Milt, ask more and then after that, <laughs> give them free. So therefore, entry into Milt is, might be tough. But the moment you enter into Milt and stay on, you'll find it enjoyable. And now I would like to call upon yet another person who's been a great support. And for the past uh, six months, seven months or so, he's been a great support to me. And after many years, I've learned to delegate. Otherwise, everything I'm doing. Now, sitting over, I said, can you do this? Can you do that? And spontaneously, he does it. So I'd like to introduce this milk performer. <laughs> he's surprised right now because he didn't know that he's going to talk. <laughs> because being an impromptu, I want him also to impromptu express. See, right now, he's sitting to you, shop when I'm telling this. So let's listen to this young uh, Milpik performer who did the program level one and then had the courage to get on the stage to do a talk in the national convention. That's something hats off. Many people came and surrounded him and said, how could he do it? And lots of people of his age and younger, after the uh, talk that he gave, everybody went around and said, next year, I'm going to do it in Kolkata. That's the motivation he brought in. And I'm glad that he did the level two. And now he's sort of uh, assisted me in this level two programs and all the Milt programs, not only to me, but to a lot of Miltonians in various projects. Let's listen to Milt Pick for, for, performer, Miltonian Noel Jacob. So I don't know why my dad told me to speak now <laughs> because I have not partaken in any uh, say, I mean, uh, competition in this batch. But yeah, yeah. first I was in the, the PW level one, but after seeing a lot of testimonials after testimonials, I thought I can also do this course. And I finally completed PPW level one and I successfully completed PPW level two. I mean, I can't do dramatics. I'm a very shy person, but after completing PPW level two, I got some courage to do dramatics, uh, take part in, I mean, in Prado two session. And also the pegging was also a great memory technique. So, yeah, this is my testimonial and thank you, guys. Okay. Good. Okay, that was Noel for you. Now, after the session is over, why do you do all this? Simply, you go and put me here, there. <laughs> okay. Because only when you tell there's a problem. So, don't tell them. Push them into the deep. Either you swim or swing. Uh, sink. So, therefore, thanks, Noel, for all the support because he's been behind uh, the screen and ensuring everything goes on well. I'm so glad that I finally was able to develop a resource. Uh, I shouldn't say human as a resource, but a great potential. And I'm sure with the confidence that he's gained, having addressed the national convention, taking part in the alumni competition, if ever, anybody calls him to take part, he's there. And then he also went and performed and sang a song there. So all this Milt has given him an opportunity to express how much ever we are told him to sing. His mother has told him to sing. He said, no, I can't. But he goes to the convention and sings so that even telling me what song he's going to sing. Okay, that's the confidence he has got. Good, Noel. All the best to you. And now, friends, uh, it's nice to have this program. And all this wouldn't have happened if not for the idea and the energy and the stimulation if I didn't get from this person. I've known this person, did Milton 1998, and probably got to know him very closer. Though I've heard a lot that he sends a lot of money for all the conventions and projects. They always say, whenever there's fundraising, Either way, he's not in the chapter. They say, let's put his name there. And he's sending a lot of money across. He cares for people. And now for the past few years or many years, we have been in touch. And he wanted to take Milt to the Middle East. And it, it was almost working. Probably it was in 2017. I think I was almost coming there in the month of December. 2017, yeah. And then uh, something happened. I couldn't go there because the person was to coordinate. I had to leave Dubai. But And then when there was a program happening in the month of last July or so, he just came in and sat in the uh, Peak Perform Workshop. And that was a program done for Shooting Stuff Foundation. All these are students. Then he said, Danny, this is a great time to take it to Milt. And then to Dubai, Middle East. And then immediately he said, he took a date and he took, put on and 10, 15 people joined. And I brought another five or 10. We had a batch going. So therefore he's certainly behind a force. Today, everybody sees me on the limelight, but there's somebody who's pushing me and energizing me. And it is this person. So let's listen to 
uh, the person who was charter president of Milton Middle East and a good friend and a great Miltonian, Miltonian Velu Armugam. Velu. Uh, thank you, Danny. I you know, thought of repeating what Noel said. Uh, I did not attend the program full, all the sessions till you call me now. Thank you for that. Uh, there are a lot of things I can tell. While uh, somebody was telling, knowing it's a doing program, it's not knowing program. I remember what Apuresh said. While the training was on, he asked, question, he asked us one question. If knowing is enough, why do we crave for first night? All were, you know, shocked. That kind of person uh, operates. Okay, he makes everyone to liberate. For me, milk is not just a course. It's not just a program. It's a liberating process. Liberating process. Deconditioning. I have not seen any program which really opens up, makes a person to get free. Get free. We fight for freedom to live our life in every aspect. We do not have freedom from our own mind. We do not have freedom from our own mind. One or the other way, it varies in degree. We are all slave to our mind. But Milt helped me to understand the influence of my mind and get liberated from that. I'm not telling I'm fully liberated, but I am aware of what are the influences of mind and how I can handle it, how I can handle it. It's only because of Milt. I have not seen any program which can help a person to get that freedom. Only when you get freedom of this, you can live your life in totality. Otherwise, you always operate with conditioning. You always operate with constraint and you will not actualize your potential. Anything and everything your mind conditions, your mind directs, you will not actualize your potential. You need to have that freedom. Milk really helps. For that to happen, the, the training is over now. This is not the end of it. You need to stick to milk and you need to leave the milk. You need to leave the milk. Everyone present here, I'm telling, you need to leave the milk. Milk has become part of your living, part of your living. That can happen if you are regular in alumni meetings, okay? Participating. Don't, if there are opportunities in front of fantasizing and uh, dramatics and culturals, these three things must be top priority. Top priority. To get liberated, to get liberated. No, the other time, some time ago, even I was thinking, if milk had come in my life long back, I would not learn, I would not have, you know, my girlfriend would not have left me, my lover. So many years I was in deep love, she left me. I would have, you no know, <laughs> behaved well with her. If this dramatic fantasizing and all were there with me that time, it's, okay. Milk, actually, so much I can talk about. I also said uh, with absolute conviction, Miltonians can be movers and shakers of the world. Yes, because once you taste milk to the fullest and reach that state where you will see what you speak and what you think and what you feel, all will be in harmony. When you reach that state, you have freedom. You have freedom. There is nothing outside. There is nothing outside which can come and stop you. Stop you. You stand up for what you feel. You will stand up for what you think. You will stand up for whatever you wanted to do. That can happen through milk. Milk can be a great resource. That's why I used to tell milk is armor for life. Armor for life. When everything leaves you, there is nothing which can come and help you. Milk comes. Milk comes. Milk, milk is beyond everything. It's a process of liberating. Okay. Thank you, Danny. Okay, th thank you, Velu, uh, for your uh, support, encouragement, and your presence, and all of that. Now, before uh, Mahesh is going to leave, let me tell you, we have got this uh, blueprint uh, for personal development happening, and I want you all to spread it across. And if you can personally call up and ensure that three people of yours can attend, it will be good. As I said, we just want them to know about this concept. So therefore, use your leadership skills and talk to people and ensure that uh, they attend this blueprint for personal development, which is a free webinar. Okay. So let me uh, thank Velu for your support in making it 
making all these things happen because milt as you rightly said is deconditioning and to decondition people might use all sorts of words and if you only see the word you will find you can brand a person but when you see the intention behind the word you will certainly celebrate that person it seems once a person came running to osho and told him i heard ramakrishna paramamsa utter bad words then osho looked at him and said a bad word from a good person is a good word so i also utter, utter bad word isn't it am i a good person <laughs> okay so therefore liberating is what is important so we know what it is so the, uh, there is some uh, decorum needed so accordingly we we work on but you are liberated from within and you start freedom and then use it for your betterment and also create an environment for everybody to experience liberation so any program or any individual which helps you or who helps you to get liberated to help you to decondition that is your guru it can be a person or a thing or whatever it is that should help you to liberate so therefore milt is one such thing well was experienced it directly with aprishcharya and he feels that milt the program that i'm doing is liberating as he rightly said this is a doing course that's why all people who join will not finish the course but i want all people who join to finish the course so therefore it's a doing program if you want to know you can sit on the youtube and so much is knowing here i have learned so much from youtube so much is there but it is a doing we give you the knowledge and we also ensure that you implement it so it's nice conducting this program to each one of you uh, so i look forward to your continuous participation in the milt activities in your various chapters and also in the uh, events that i promote because as a trainer of uh, milt accredited trainer i have taken the initiative with the blessings of aprishacharya i look forward to your support as well so i'll be on uh, online at 3 pm indian standard time just about um, two and a half hours from now to conduct this blueprint for personal development i like you all to come and uh, like you all to spread it big time to others as well so thank you so much for being part of this journey and your certificate of course completion will be mailed to you okay all the best take care and have thank a you. great sunday bye bye thank, thank you, you thank you thank you thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.